What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a noob's guide in completing the Volandor Forge upon the EVZ. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. So the Forge at the moment is the main end game with the Black Armour DLC. I understand that many people are having issues with it. Today I bring you this simple guide into getting this Forge finally done. We will go from start to finish on what you need to be doing and using. Okay so firstly as this at the moment isn't a walk in the park and power levels are quite low certain classes and weapons will be needed to be used to complete this bungie yesterday lowered the entire process of the forge by five power which to be honest you can feel the difference so first you make sure you have done what you can in terms of weekly activity to level up that power level if you can't do the raid that's fine and understandable this guide is for those struggling so i doubt you'll be able to do raids anyway but if power levels are around 605 you shouldn't be having any issues really Yes, deaths will come, that's for sure. I still die at level 615-ish, my powers die at 620-ish, so don't worry about a death or two. So classes. To make this super easy, you need to have a Warlock with those Lunification Exotic Boots, using the Well of Radiance subclass also. And that is actually about it for the classes. The other two can be whatever. Supers ain't really an issue or a must, so I suggest maybe using roaming supers and whatever other classes are being used in your team, just for those last ditch attempts at taking down bigger bosses. Weapons, I suggest the Thunderlord all around, everybody using this. If you don't have this, it won't really make a difference much if one person uses the Sleeper Simulant, but for your best bet, I'd say Thunderlord all around for sure. Now I have seen a Wisp of the Worm strat, uh, which to be honest is way more difficult than videos make out. Because of the amount of ads attacking you, most of the time landing three perfect crit shots is difficult. This way is miles better and easier. Also people use a shotgun too, if you have the Icarus shotgun that's your number one pick, if you don't any full auto shotgun should be fine and there are many for you to pick from. Primarily I suggest you use what's best for you in terms of controlling ads, for me it's 100% a breakneck auto rifle, the thing absolute melts. But it's a weapon lot behind a pretty big quest so if you don't have this there are many other auto rifles out there which will do you just fine. Experiment people. Some people are good even using hand cannons as primaries, if you're one of them then use a hand cannon, whatever you feel is best for you in controlling ads you must use. Just make sure you pair it with a shotgun and that thunder load. Now before entering the forge, go and rally a flag to get full ammo, supers don't matter as it resets when you start the forge activity. So upon entering the forge, this in my opinion is what you and your team should be doing. So the basics are, there are three rounds to this forge activity, the first and second round consist of you having to kill blue shielded enemies and picking up components or radiant batteries they drop and throwing them at the forge, 20 are needed in total each round. Each blue shielded enemy you kill depending on size also adds a little time to your overall timer, if the timer reaches zero before 20 components have been thrown at the forge you fail the activity, simple. There are roughly four types of blue shielded enemies, scions, phalanxes, gladiators and the colossus. Scions and phalanxes drop one component when you kill them, the colossus and the gladiator both drop two, but are obviously harder to kill. Now the third round is the boss round, we will get to that in a second. So the forge, let's split this room into three parts, centre, left and right. You should have your highest power leveled guardian on the right hand side controlling ads if need be and killing all you can in terms of blue shielded enemies that drop the components you need to throw at the forge. Another guardian on the left hand side doing the same thing, controlling ads, taking them out if needs be and killing blue shielded enemies and throwing those components at the forge. The third guardian should be rotating back and forth between both sides. Listen to that for call outs if you're having issues with ads or the mini bosses, i.e. the colossus or the gladiators. The first round in my opinion you shouldn't really be using your shotgun or at least try and hold back as you will need the ammo for the second round. Heavy ammo you must keep until round 3 unless you see ammo packs on the floor which will replen your heavy ammo. So once you have completed round 1, round 2 will start, obviously being harder. This is where you should be using your shotgun, taking out enemies with blue shields and those pesky ads surrounding them. Now if you can get away using your primary taking these out, do that, 
make sure you save that special ammo for times of need. Also using your super and the colossus would be a good idea. The gladiators and the colossuses though can be killed with shotguns, it's just they do pack a nasty punch. So supers for these guys if needs be will be fine, as long as it isn't the warlocks. As the warlocks radiant as well, you will need for round 3. So unless there are enough orbs to regen the warlock super back, hold off on using it. Remember the same thing applies, one left, one right and the third rotating. Teamwork is vital and to be honest people it isn't that hard. A few other tips also, the radiant batteries do last a while on the floor so do not rush in to pick them up straight away especially if there are many ads surrounding them, take out these ads first. Also going from round 1 to round 2, it seems as though the radiant batteries if left on the floor and are not picked up you can use them as soon as the second phase starts. So do as you can people, you probably won't get it first try but just keep trying and keep your head up. The third and final round is that round of the boss, Astra in my opinion is by far the easiest. So as the round is starting head over to the left hand side of the map as we do. Once the boss drops in take out the drones which when destroyed remove the boss's shield. Upon doing this the warlock needs to drop his radiance well as we do in this exact spot. Then you all need to stand in it and switch to those from the lords. And then just mount the boss and you will see his health drains pretty damn quickly. And if you don't kill the boss doing this, one person then needs to concentrate on killing ads while the other two guardians do what they can to take out the boss. And guys, you will eventually get this done. Super easy, I guarantee it. Now doing this without a warlock isn't impossible, it's just at the moment it's a lot easier with one. I mean a titan's barricade would be decent enough if power levels are high enough, but at the moment using a warlock for its will of radiance is by far the easiest method. But yeah guys, a simple method in getting that forge completed for you noobs out there just like me. I will leave you now to watch the entire run of what me and my fire team do, deaths included because as you know they will happen. On that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you enjoyed it leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos make sure you subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but again thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
Guardian down. 